Hi everyone, Magnus here. Today we're gonna do another Q&A video. I love these. You guys are so awesome. You send me a bunch of questions and I will do my best to answer them. But before we get into it, did you know that I have an app? For as low as 27 cents per day, you can get access to all my programs. So what you're waiting for, join the Magnus family today. What are your easy go-to protein snacks? When I prepare my snacks, I prioritize protein. I try to make sure not to eat any fast carbs or sugar, mostly protein. Anything from beef, chicken, eggs, tofu, even a protein shake is a wonderful snack and it's easy to take with you on the go. I know you trained Alexander Skarsgård in the morning, but what's your personal preference? Excellent question. Train when your life and schedule allows you to. It doesn't really matter if you train in the morning or in the afternoon. With that said, if you have all the time in the world, there's nothing wrong with starting the day with a workout because I think it sets a physical and a mental standard for the day. Personally, I work out in the afternoons because that's what my life and schedule allows me to. Split routine or push and pull the same day? It really depends. Programming is not complicated, it's fairly easy. It depends on how many times per week you can work out and what your goals are. I would say overall for men that wants to build a lot of muscle mass, I try to divide push and pull into two separate days. So back and chest on two separate days. For females, I would like to do it in the same day because women don't prioritize their chest muscle as much as men. It really depends on, on how much you train in a week. If you're doing twice a week in the gym, yeah, then you should do full body every time. That's my answer. Will kettlebell training solely get you big and lean? Well, it can. When it comes to body fat, getting lean, it's all about nutrition. So it doesn't matter if you, you know, lift dumbbells, barbells, isolated exercises or kettlebells, but kettlebells are a good way of building strength. Yeah, I like a combination of free weights, kettlebells, body weight workouts, and even isolated exercises or machines. So you can get in good shape with any of those or a combination of all of them. How to manage nutrition on a five days vacation? Enjoy or try to follow the diet as much as possible. Excellent question. If you go on vacation once a month, then you should probably try to stay on top of it a little more. But I assume that you don't go on vacation all the time and if you don't enjoy life when I go on vacation I have a couple of good meals but I kind of eat whatever I want but it really depends on what makes you feel the best if you go on vacation once or twice a year and only for five days enjoy doing exercise in hoodie helps burning more calories no no um, if you wear a lot of clothes when sweating it will make you sweat more the difference is not huge and i would say if you're wearing a lot of clothes that make you sweat you're gonna have less energy to actually you know lift properly and heavy so it will affect you negatively and in a different way so lose the hoodie if you're sweating how do you get started as a trainer i started 22 Two years ago almost 22 years ago back home in Sweden I always did a lot of sports so it was kind of a natural transition for me to start working with training and nutrition I was interested in it and I got my personal training certification at first then I got a bunch of certifications after that but it started with a personal training certificate almost 22 years ago where did you get the equipment for your garage gym well, let me tell you, I got most of it from a brand called Eleiko. Eleiko is the gold standard when it comes to, to weightlifting. And a nice coincidence is that the part of Sweden where I grew up it's not far from where the brand Eleiko is from. It feels fantastic to be able to have a brand from the same part of Sweden as me that are uh, making the best gym equipment money can buy. So check them out, Eleiko. I'm trying to lose belly fat. Should I only count my protein intake? No, you need to make sure that your carbs and fat are not too high as well, your intake. You see, protein's the building stones of muscle and tissue. It's crucial that you get enough protein to maintain or build muscle mass and not to kill muscle mass. So protein's super important, but then you have fat and carbs, which are the fuel for the body. So you wanna make sure that you're in calorie deficit when losing fat, which means that you're eating less fuel, fat and carbs, than what you're spending in a day. With that said, you can overeat protein as well. If your body can't take it up or absorb all the protein, that can turn into fat as well. So you want to make sure to eat 
the right amount of protein, fat and carbs. Train intensive for a couple of weeks, then more mellow split or better to keep constant. Interesting question, I would say the most important thing is to, to keep it going from week to week. Holding yourself accountable, making training a part of your life and showing up every week, that is the most important thing. Training intensity during um, different training cycles, it will make a little difference, but it's really about making sure that you train no less than three times per week, no more than six. Five days might be the sweet spot if you ask me. Is it safe to use protein powder 365 out of 365 days of the year? Thank you. Yes, it is. And I'm going to tell you why, because protein powder is just protein. Some of them contains artificial sweeteners, and we know now that artificial sweeteners are not bad for us. They don't really affect us at all. So you can definitely eat protein powder every day, all year round, if you want to. How long have you been doing fitness? Well, I've been working as a trainer for 21, 22 years, but before that I did a whole lot of different sports. So I always been active. I remember going to the gym with my father from the age of three. I didn't work out, but I was in that environment and it obviously had a big impact on my life. I mean, look at me now. <laughs> How to lose fat fast, but healthy top tips. Um, I'm not sure what you mean with that. Well, lose fat in a healthy way, I assume you're asking for. And I would say that don't go too extreme. Make sure that you're in calorie deficit, which means that you're eating less energy in a day than what you're spending. Make sure to eat enough protein, go to the gym, train, stay active, and don't be too hard on yourself. Magnus, how do you celebrate the Swedish National Day? That is a great question. And uh, normally, I am here in LA where I live and I get together with uh, a couple of other Swedish families and we make dinner and we hang out and uh, think about the motherland. That's what I do. Female late 30s. Haven't exercised in a while. Fastest way to lose weight and tone up. Well, the fastest way is to get started today. Get on top of your nutrition and get on top of your training or exercise. So make sure to exercise three times a week in the beginning, then ramp it up to five days a week with something that you like to do and something that your body needs and get on top of your nutrition, which means that 17 out of 20 meals should be on point and then you enjoy life three out of 20 meals. So no food restrictions. You just got to make sure not to eat too unhealthy too often. That's how you do it. When cutting, should I be doing heavy weight 6 to 8 reps or moderate weight 10 to 12 reps for keeping muscle mass? Well, I would say both works. The reason we tend to do lighter weight and more reps when cutting is because we, we're in a calorie deficit, which means we have less energy. So it's going to be harder to push that heavy weight. And on top of that, when you're in a calorie deficit, the risk of getting injured goes up. So it might make sense to do more reps at a lighter weight than going heavy for a few reps. But with that said, both methods will be very beneficial when cutting. It always comes down to nutrition when it's about losing body fat. Does it still count as a rest day if I go out for a jog? I don't think so. I, once again, it depends. It depends on how hard you're training those other days. If I have a rest day, I will not go out and jog. I will lay on the couch. Question yourself, are you going out for a jog because you need it mentally or because you get a guilty conscience? If you say yes to that question, take it from me that you're better off with doing nothing that day. As long as you work out hard on the days when you do work out, take the day off without any guilty conscience. How to stop eating unhealthy completely? Love that question. And I'm so happy that you sent me that question. I don't think that you should stop completely with eating unhealthy foods. It's when we take foods that we like, they're unhealthy, but we like them and we cut them out completely. Not only do we get a poor life, it's gonna be extremely hard to maintain that. And the second you eat something bad, you failed your whole strategy. So I think that you should still eat unhealthy from time to time foods that you like but make sure not to eat it too often i don't believe in food restrictions i make sure that out of 20 meals 
17 are on point and healthy. Three out of those 20, I eat whatever I want. What to do to see results faster? Well, if you wanna see results faster than what you are now, you need to improve something. You need to make some changes. It might be that you have to sleep a little more, but the two big ones are really training and nutrition. Depends on what you mean with your results. If you wanna build more muscle mass, well, then you need to look at your programming and how much time you spend exercising. When it comes to losing body fat, it's all about nutrition. So get results faster, tweak your nutrition, tweak your training or maybe even look at how much you sleep. Thoughts on powerlifting for weight loss over 40. Any type of training or lifting can help you lose weight as long as you get on top of your nutrition. I love powerlifting. I think it's a great way of getting stronger but if you want to lose weight it really comes down to nutrition. How to work out? Well, the quickest, easiest answer I can say is that go on my app, magnusmethodapp.com and check it out and do one of the programs and that will show you how to work out. As you can tell, a lot of good questions. Hopefully you guys got some good insight and things that you can take with you from this video. I really enjoy doing these Q&A videos and I feel so blessed that I can actually help people like you. So thank you. Keep sending me questions and I'll be doing more of these in the future. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you next week.